decisions there are three types of decisions investment financial financing and the dividend so so far we have discussed about financial decisions now we need to discuss about <coughs> the investment decisions why well, now we are able to discuss financing decisions <coughs> so financing decision is about <coughs> quantum of finance to be raised for various long term sources okay so what do you mean by finance arranging funds okay so arranging funds so investment in a sense we are about to uh, what uh, do capital expenditure purchase of machines purchase of equipments purchase of land building in the collect meeting any nama panlama vendama lot of confusions whether rate of return or which one is good okay all those things we will come finalize okay we will go for investment now what is financing so we need to arrange money earlier yeah, for example uh, you can see the main sources of finance are shareholders or owners fund or borrowed fund rendu rendu valiyada either we if for example we need to start a business or else we are about to expand our business so what we need to do either we need to do from our savings or owners share girla veli poyirathu whether shareholders or owners shareholders in the sense what the partners or is in share market and the minimum we can able to arrange finance or also only another other sources we can borrow finance from some uh, what uh, financial institutions financial institution in the sense like malabar gold okay then uh, muthoot finance then uh, these are also certain uh, 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 financial institutions where we can able to borrow and we can arrange finance so financing in the sense arrangements of money for the purpose either long term or short term per durations so shareholders equity capital means what is shareholders okay next one is borrowed fund so financing decision is concerned with the decision how much to raise for, from owners fund okay and how much from borrowed funds is a poicha am i audible guys yes sir yes sir okay so how much we can raise fund for example we are going to buy a machine for 5 crore for our industry in that 5 crore either we can go for 3 crore from cash in hand or else share from shareholders fund and 2 crore we can go for loan or we can borrow so uh, this is what financing okay what my point so borrowed funds are more risky as they involve commitment of fixed interest payment yes or no when we borrow money from our uh, any person so it's very risky one yes how come is risky we need to pay interest yes and we need to pay principal amount principal in the sense what the am i audible here on the king la someone is yes, trying to sir. say something yaar liya someone they are trying to say something okay if you want you can fine let me keep this here so uh, when we borrow money from uh, any one any uh, or it is even if it is a loan okay So every month fifth we need to pay the loan EMI of the Naka. We have no option. So we need to arrange money and we need to pay the loan. Or else we will be in a huge risk. So that's why borrowed funds are always risk. Okay. 
on the other hand funds are less risky as there is no such commitment regarding payment of dividend okay what is the meaning of dividend suppose one on one aspect there is a little uh, positive aspect is there for example uh, dividend in the sense uh, dividing the shares layer dividing the profit profit that we will call it as dividend for example now my class like in our class we have only boys nine boys okay nine boys then plus me all 10 people we are doing a business and unfortunately what happened so we got one crore profit so what we need to do this one crore we need to divide 10 shares yeah <coughs> so each person 10 lakhs or more so 10 lakhs 10 lakhs 10 lakhs so there's there is a one drawback if you go for dividend but it is not much risky no issues but if it is borrowed fund yeah we only risk is we need to pay the interest i i already thought you right i have shown you the examples also for interest for long term interest is very high if it is short term in the sense and the interest rate is less, less compared to long term fine so financing the involved decisions involves analyzing the risk and cost associated with each source of finance in order to decide a judicious mix of both depth and equity okay so what we need to do so we the, this, the, this the financial financing decision is the more important important one okay it is a for you can see vijay malaya okay vijay malaya we all know very well so uh, he lost his entire business in this okay even uh spice jet they lost their entire uh, business in this issue okay and so many entrepreneurs they will lose their business while deciding in financing decisions so this is the very big issue even you can take uh, the visual film fact insulator visual he started producing movie and he started acting by himself what happened so he got into huge depths we are reading this in so many newspapers so we need to he borrowed from so many what uh, financialist he can't able to pay back and uh, uh, his movies also thought not not that much success. Even uh, Shiva Kartik again, uh, I read an article. He started uh, his own film manufacturing company and uh, he produced some movies. I think now he is around 80 crore uh, debt. Okay, so so many celebrities, uh, even uh, so many uh, entrepreneurs, they will uh, this they will create a sorry they will make an error only in this okay so here let, that's why here financing decisions involves analysis analysis means what we need to think of the what are the positive what are the negativeness okay so all those things we need to do so uh, so so when um, uh, analysis the risk okay and uh, cost <laughs>
So guys, uh, let us back to the topic now. So. OK, that's the main issue. Then borrowed funds are considered uh, the cheapest source of finance. As interest paid uh, is deductible expense for computation of taxable liability. OK, so when we borrow, OK, in, uh, so we need to analyze. What we need to analyze the risk on the risk in which risk is more either in financing or borrowed. OK, so in which uh, if we if we go for uh, our own equity fund, OK, for example, you can see owners fund. OK, there is one problem is that we need to pay tax. OK, in case if you are borrowed fund. Uh, we can say that I am paying interest. Okay, I am paying interest, and I have. Uh, if uh, if we got loan, we can able to get tax reductions also. So all these uh, three sixty degree thing uh, thing we need to do what uh, analyze and we need to decide. Okay, got it. So uh, uh, the the cost of raising finance is known as. Flotation cost. Okay, borrowed funds are considered the cheapest source of finance. Is interest paid as a deductible expense for computation of tax liability. The cost of raising the cost of raising finance is known as flotation cost. Okay, so when flotation. Okay, so arranging finance through water through this uh, borrowed funds, and we can able to. Uh, what a deduct that interest in tax. For example, most of the people uh, the instead of paying tax like government uh, employees and uh, people those who are in higher uh, position, what they will do, they will go for loan. OK, I hope you heard about this. Yeah, even your dad, mom, they also might be going, going for loan to reduce the tax amount. OK. So this which is to be called as flotation cost. So this is what financing decision got my point. Clear. So what are the factors affecting financing a decision in the sense? First thing is cost. The cost of raising funds from different sources is different. Prudent financial manager uh, generally prefer the cheapest source of finance. OK, first one is cost. Mm, so we, which we, for example, uh, getting a business loan, okay, business loan, Panama, or else where shall we go for? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, either we can go for business loan or we can able to go for land loan or uh, we can go for uh, equity shareholders, equity shares, equity shares in the sense what? 10 or more members together, we will do investment, whether we can go for equity shares. So which one? is most the cheapest economy, economy one that we need to decide and we need to go for that investment that is called uh, that will affect the first factor second factor this risk in which we have more uh, we, in which one we have more risk you can see the risk associated with different sources of finance is different more risk is are, uh, associated with borrowed funds compared to owners funds yeah so borrowed funds when we what when there is any issues okay. for example uh when there is any uh loss so it is a very difficult situation for us we so we can't say excuse to the bankers so we have to pay the interest so not in this pandemic most of the people they are not able to pay the uh, what uh, Loan what they have borrowed, okay. Home loan, LIT, this uh, car loan, or any business loan. What happened due to, this pan due to this pandemic situation? They are not able to pay the loans on time. So, if you fail to pay the loan, the, the interest they will charge interest or interest. Okay, so double interest that is why it's very risky. One so the risk also will be the second factor which will affect our financing decisions. Next one is about flotation cost. What is flotation cost? Just now we have discussed flotation cost, right? And uh, we used to uh, borrow money and we will uh, try to uh, what uh, 
um we we will try to manipulate with the income tax okay anyhow what is flotation cost here in the sense the cost flotation cost refer to the cost involved in issue of securities for example brokerage fee okay stamp duty the registration fee so what are the charges we are paying for that for example service charge we need to pay right have you already heard about that so for example in hdfc if we need to get home loan okay for 10 lakhs what we need to do we need to pay a uh, registration fee and service charge okay idellam pudichu namak 10 lakhs update kedaikadu they may give 9 lakhs 20000 or something might be okay so these things comes under flotation cost so this one also will affect financing decisions then cash flow position if we take cash flow in the sense inflow outflow okay so if there is a more inflow for example namak nariya amount varudhu patamaka from most of there is what inflow so that means we are getting receiving lot of pay what uh, receivables are there that means we are doing good business so it is so in that case we can able to manage the loan if the cash flow is less compared to outflow, so we have to pay more compared to we, we receive. So in that case, uh, this situation will be affecting us. Okay. The next one is control consideration. Sorry. Uh, fixed cost operation. What is fixed cost? Last time in microeconomics, we have studied Nyavarika. Fixed cost, variable cost. We remember. What is fixed cost? Yes. Even though we are doing business, even if they are not doing business, we need to pay what uh, EMI. Yes. Yes or no? If we are locked down, okay, we are, we uh, last time we was in lockdown. So we didn't open the shop, but we need to pay rent. Yes. That is what fixed cost. So what is variable cost? Based upon the usage. Okay. For example, uh, diesel for a car. So when we are using uh, more much, we can pay. We can we need to pour more diesel. When the less usage, less diesel. That is what uh, variable cost. But uh, fixed fixed operation cost in the sense, like you can see insurance, then rent, insurance, premium salaries. All these are comes in a fixed cost. Okay. So uh, these things also will affect our financing decisions. Why? Because uh, either we are running business or not, we need to keep so we need to keep reserve some amount for our expen monthly expenditures. So if we are getting more returns, then we can go for either borrowing or else uh, if it is not, it is not possible. Okay. Next one is. Control considerations. For example, suppose uh, if uh, I am borrowing money from Axis Bank, okay, I am having a business and I have a cash, say, what a current account in Axis Bank, what they will do. Uh, if I borrow money, they will, for example, one crore or two crore, if I borrow money, these people also will, the, 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 the bankers, okay. These people also will take part in the financial decisions. Whatever decisions I am deciding, they will interfere. Okay. So uh, uh, I will not. Uh, suppose if one a profit, they will ask. They will, they, okay. They will ask. Okay. Because uh, they, these people, access bank people also will be along with me. They will be in my office, okay? So if, if if they know what is the business I'm doing, how much profit we are getting. So they will ask us after paying the uh, interest or EMA, then you can divide the shareholders. You can divide the share. So the control will be, goes to either the money lender or the bankers. So this, because this thing also will affect a financial decision. Then state of capital market, Arish share market 
so if you should you what happened in a couple of weeks back i have shared you i think last week adani group they have lost so many crores in share market because of their fall in share elias share they didn't fall it so uh, what happened he lost so many crores so based upon this share market value is form value in the share market he can go for financing okay so these are the <clears throat> factors which will affect financing decisions any doubts any doubts guys any doubts Awesome. Okay, very good. Awesome.